Hey, free to play gang, welcome back to another video. So, yes, I know I cut my hair, okay, I look like a potato or something like that. But anyway, today we're gonna take a look at Infinite Miracle. And I asked a bunch of you guys, like, what is the flaw that you guys have the most problems with? Because I've heard a lot that the Temporal Tower is quite easy this time around. And from the polling itself, it does seem like a lot of you guys have an easy time with it. But with that said, I'm sure that there are still some of you guys out there who need some help. And I accidentally blew through Flaw 25. I know some of you guys actually mentioned that you want to help with Flaw 25, but unfortunately, I kind of cleared it when most people were complaining about floor 45 and floor 30 so I just went all the way to floor 30 and then people started coming in with like needing help on floor 25 so I'm truly apologetic about that. I'm so sorry that I went past it but the simple way that I would approach this given the cage fighting buff over here is I'll just bring straight up DPS Espers, just nuke them down really hard, really fast. So bring Espers like Dahlia, bring Espers like Clara if you have, or bring Espers like Essenas to just take the first turn to deal all the damage, right? You do not want to control them. You do not want to stun them. You do not want to freeze them. You do not want to petrify them. You can use Silence. You can use Taunts as well. Those will be fine. And you can also AP control. That's about it. Anyway, for the rest of today's video, I want to talk about Floor 30. Now, you are taking a look at this team and what you might instantly notice is, yes, there is number one as the guy is over here, but number two, most importantly, is the typing. So they have quite a, a neutral typing in terms of like, if you're using a wind type Esper, you are going to be able to deal with them really easily. And taking a look at the temporal disturbance here, Bloodlust, enemy attacks, reduce the target's HP cap. So what's dangerous about this is as long as they take a turn, they are going to reduce your HP cap, which is a terrible debuff to have because it cannot be removed unless you have Espers like Ahmed. Now the thing is, I'm not going to use Espers like Ahmed because that is just straight up cheesing this floor. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on the strategy around dealing with a floor like this, which is basically just bringing a wind type Esper that does not allow the enemies to take a turn. And with that, well, definitely not this team. So you have Longman here who is a wind type controller. You have the White Twin here who is also a wind type controller. And this guy is just here for a little bit more DPS just to clear this a little bit faster. And you have a buffer who also heals and you have a cooldown reducer as well. So I think this should work, but let's test this out. Okay, so ideally what you want to do is to just drop all your controls at the start. Just make sure that you try to control them as much as possible. So obviously there are going to be some problematic ones like uh, all these uh, Inferno types, right? So what you want to do is to get them out ASAP. So we are able to do it with our Black Twin because our Black Twin is able to use his third skill due to the White Twin over there. And Anki Chai is going to be really good for reducing our cooldown. So as you can see over there, we are doing a perfect job about it. So what we're going to do now is we're not going to be too bothered about the Li Guang. I don't think she's that dangerous. So we're just going to get rid of the Taylor in one hit, like so. Or well, rather your objective is probably to do something like that, right? And obviously we need a little bit of heals to make up for it. But obviously if some of you guys may need a little bit more healing than I do, then definitely do not bring a character like Suhua. Definitely bring something else with a little bit more healing power. Let's say you have a Clara, let's say you have a Hengria, you have an Essenath as well. Those are really, really strong choices. Now, very importantly, when you move on to the next floor, you need to make sure that all your skills are off cooldown, right? And I know I've talked about this so many times, but I think for the people who actually need to know this information, you desperately need to follow this as well, okay? So make sure that when you start off the next wave, you have all your skills ready to be used. So something like this, just full control everywhere, right? So that's pretty cool, pretty awesome. But I really like this combination between Suhua and Anki Chai because now we are able to just throw so many, you know, so many skills all together because my White Twin is on Ocean Waves, Lomia is also on Ocean Waves, and that is going to cycle all their skills very quickly, especially alongside with the Anki Chai over here. And the White Twin is just superbly powerful at controlling the enemy over here. And now we progress to the boss wave. So let's see what's up. Okay, so they are not very speedy, right? So I think their speeds are about around 140, maybe. I'm not actually very sure. Not very fast, right? So we're gonna do the same thing. Just try to freeze everyone. And we need to slow the guys and we need to AP control the guys like crazy because he is not going to be able to be frozen because he's a boss. So in a situation like this, I'm just going to use my third skill to AP control him, right? Just absorb AP and obviously do a little bit more damage as well. And the best thing that could happen right now is we take him out uh, as soon as we can, especially before he takes a turn, right? But the thing is, if you're not able to kill him fast enough, right? Because maybe you do not have the damage that I have right here. You could either consider bringing in more damage. Like for example, I do not really need the White Twin over here because what you notice is that Long Mian was actually more than capable of landing his freezers to control the enemies, right? I did not necessarily need the White Twin here. So what I could have done is probably brought a Liling, okay, maybe not a Liling, but I could have probably brought a Tang Yun, for example, to just like nuke him down ASAP and that should work, right? But I just really like using the White Twin here because he is uh, so versatile. And as you can see here, we might be in trouble, right? We might be in trouble, but the thing is we still have a long man second skill to AP control. Maybe take him out at the same time. Okay, and that's basically it. So that's floor 30 
done well just like that and obviously i have a much stronger relics than probably some of you guys who need help on this floor but like i said i'm playing a little bit more yolo you don't need to play so yolo like me right you can definitely replace anki chai you can replace him with another healer you can replace him with maybe some other buffers as well some other kind of well immunity buffer might work but the thing is this debuff here bypasses immunity buff so immunity might protect you from some other debuffs but not the bloodlust effect so that about sums it up and that's basically temporal tower level 30. So before I forget, let's take a look at their relics real quick. So this is Longmian, he is built speedy and he has ocean waves as well. This is very important, right? Ocean waves on a speedy kit. That is super important with uh, as much accuracy as you can manage. So 66 is actually slightly on the lower end. And here is my white twin. He has full accuracy, basically 80% at the soft cap with decent speed as well. The rest goes into tanky stats. And here with the black twin, speedy, but built with a DPS kit. So he has 70% crit rate, which is good enough because of his third skill, which grants himself a 30% crit rate buff. And he's not on ocean waves, but I think ocean waves work really well for him as well. And here is Suhua, just extremely speedy, right? As fast as you can. And I did decide to give her more accuracy because of landing some attack debuffs, but this is not so much for Temporal Tower, it's more for like Kronos, for example. And then we have Anki Chai, who is also speedy, but I believe that I might want to reduce his speed a little bit more just so that he's the slowest Esper on the team which means that when he takes his turn, he's going to reduce the cooldown of everyone on your team because Suhua went first with the attack buff and then the fourth Esper would then supposed to be my black twin which he would then follow up and land the cooldown reduction although I do feel like given their speeds over here I do feel like the black twins should have been moving first I'm actually not very sure about this Oh, the problem here is because I'm using a speed lead so the thing is, because I'm using a speed lead even though the black twin has 200 speed which is the same as Anki Chai over here with 200 speed because the speed lead comes into effect Anki Chai has the higher base speed which means that he would then get a fractional amount more speed and therefore Anki Chai is actually the fourth Esper to move and not my Black Twin but ideally you want your Anki Chai to be the last Esper to move so I'm actually going to reduce his speed after this video Actually, maybe I should show you how this works right now, right? So this is going to be a lot more interesting So first, we are going to start off with our attack buff and then we're going to land our freeze and if not all of them are frozen, I will just use my second skill to ensure the stuns. Okay, great. So now they are all stunned and now we can just like maybe knock out one of the black twins here. Like so. And what we can do is because we have Anki Chai, we are then going to reset everyone's cooldown. Look at that. Cooldown reduction all the way. So as you can see here, our second skill is almost ready. And this is how we are going to cycle through all our skills very quickly. So that's why I like to use uh, Suhua with Anki Chai. It's, it's kind of like an OP combo in my opinion because the cooldowns are all super low. I forgot my outro. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed today's content, don't forget to give a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and subscribe for more dislike content. Now with that said, this has been very free to play. And as always, I will see you in the next video.